I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today at DevOx mm -hmm. with uh, Heather Vandura and uh, yeah. Roberto Cortes. Uh -huh. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Thanks. So, uh, Heather, tell us a little bit about uh, the JCP and uh, Adopter JSR. Yes, so uh, the JCP is here at DevOx this week, and we're talking about how to participate in the JCP and uh, through Adopt JSR program as one way. So we organized uh, several things here this week uh, to talk to the community about what's happening and how they can get involved in the development of JSR specifications before they're final and out in the developer community. Okay. And so yesterday you had a hackathon? Yes, so on? yesterday uh, DevOx had an all-day hacker garden mm -hmm. and we had two areas organized, uh, one for Java EE and one for Java SE. Uh, so it was a great success. We were there all day, uh, talk, did Lambdas and Java EE 7. Excellent. So uh, Roberto, tell us how have you heard about uh, Adopter JSR and uh, Well actually I heard it the first time when I went to Java 1 last year. I went to a talk um, and I just got it there and after that I tried to follow uh, the community and the Adopter JSR and the Adopter JTK program uh, to see what's going on and try to find a way to contribute to the community as well. Okay. Yeah, so Roberto participated in the Java E7 area yesterday okay. and wanted to share some of his experiences. Yeah, I mean, um, it was great because I was able to, to go side by side with some great guys that work on the community like Aaron Gumta and Dan Allen and some other guys. Uh, so for me it was really great in that area because I was able to see how they work and see how they uh, manage things together. So I actually learned a lot. Uh, doing that. Uh, another good thing is that um, sometimes for me it's harder because I, I work in a country uh, that we don't have a very active uh, Java community. In which country is I'm that? In Portugal. Okay. Um, and here, being here with the guys, it's actually easier for me to contribute and be side by side with them. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I was able to contribute something. Uh, actually, we were working uh, to adding tests to the JE7 batch uh, samples. We actually found uh, some bug there when we were in the process of doing that, and we tried to fill. Uh, Aaron told me how I can fill the bug there. Uh, actually, the bug was already filled in for that particular issue that we found. Uh, but now I can follow it and see the process that's going to be. Uh, done to uh, for it to be solved or whatever's going to happen now. So now I can actually contribute and help people uh, and help the, the team that's doing the Java uh, batch. So uh, are you planning any events or any uh, anything? Uh? Well, at the moment, uh, that's the, the the job that we did yesterday is not done. So uh, it's only it was only a few hours that we were there, and we are only wrapping stuff up. So we still need to, to add more tests there to the JE7 batch uh, uh, samples, but there are other projects there that also need uh, those, those kind of tests there, and we only pick up a small fraction of uh, what there is there. So, uh, so there is still a lot yes. of work to yeah, do. Yeah, so for actually I can, I'm actually going to continue working on that from my home now as well when I have some free time and even on, during sessions mm -hmm. I can do some, stu some stuff there and I also can sell it to, to people that want to contribute to help us on that. Uh, for me I never done anything like this before and I really enjoy it and I think it's a very good community uh, and you can actually learn a lot uh, and also be a very good or actually improve your skills as a professional by doing these kinds of contributions to the community. Yes, so you found the JSR, JSR 352, just yeah. one JSR part of Java E7. Yeah. There are that's just, that's just 14 a small other fraction. ones, Yeah, right? there's just a, a, very, a really small fraction on what's in there. So. Right, but you found the JSR, you yeah. found the public issue tracker and yes. the wiki, so you know yes. where to go now. Yes, I and found everything. How you can contribute and how you continue exactly. to follow it, and that's really what yeah. the Adopt a JSR program is yes. all about, is making it accessible to you so you can take advantage of yeah, the Yeah, I, I found it really easy yeah. to go around all the places, so... 
So now you can continue with JSR 282 and then I've branch out to the, all yes. the other JSRs that yes. make up Java EE7. Yes, we hope. I hope that we, uh, we can continue to contribute to, to everything yeah. else. Yeah, it was awesome. So Heather, tell yeah. us uh, what's new with the program? A lot has happened in the last year, but uh, is there a couple of things that you want to share? Uh, yeah, so I think Adopt the JSR started now about two years ago, and we've really seen a lot of activity starting to ramp up, a lot more hands-on activities, such as what mm -hmm. we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've been sharing the word about the program, and now we're starting to really see some traction in the community with Java E7 over the last year. You know, a lot of activity in that uh, all around the world, in North America, South America, Europe. Africa, so Asia, you know, lots of activity in India, so we've seen lots of activity as far as around the world, people contributing to Java E7, and now people starting to get more involved in Java SE8, since that's going to be coming out next early 2014. Yeah. And also, we've been trying to get more translated material available mm -hmm. um, to make it easier for developers in part parts of the world that don't speak English to understand how to participate in the program, and then, um, start you know following the steps just like Roberto did yesterday you know finding finding the JSR finding the links to the public material that's available and then you know finding out you know how they can contribute by you know testing filing bugs starting to build sample applications so some really cool things that people are doing um, so That's which really language the, languages are available? Which, oh, I think we mm. have eight now. We have English, of course, uh, mm. Portuguese, yeah, French. Uh, mm -hmm. French, thanks to Yolande, um, Spanish, uh, Arabic, Turkish, German, Chinese. Okay. So, That's so uh, we have eight, and then I'm working with someone in Israel to do Hebrew. So right. be up to nine, so lots of languages. And then also we're trying to look at, we've got you know 45 Java user groups um, around the world in the JCP and about 25 participating in Adopt a JSR program. So how can we get more Java user groups involved? And then also how can we get those developers who aren't part of a Java user group to contribute through their employers? So getting more companies involved in the JCP and encouraging them to participate, you know, not just by being on an expert group, but in all these other ways that jcp.next facilitate so all the changes we made in the JCP over the last three years that make it so transparent and accessible you know getting the developers to participate and actually take advantage of that so that's so where can people find more information well we're gonna have a boff session here so okay. we'll do that and we'll post the material online and jcp.org has those links as well as uh, java.net project on adopt a JSR and if people, someone wants to translate it in, I don't know, uh, Mandarin, for example, how do, what, do they, what do they need to do? Or uh, you can join the Java.net project, the Adopt-a-JSR Java.net project, and then um, send a message to the mailing list that they want to get started, and we'll get in contact with them and get them the materials so they can translate the wiki page, and we have a presentation that they can translate as well to get started, and then um, we can do online hangouts. I just did one a couple weeks ago with the Peru Java user group uh, to get them started and find out which JSRs they're interested in so I can help them with that in terms of um, connecting with the spec leads and getting their needs met. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being with us and, and yeah. sharing your wonderful work. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much for the opportunity as well. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>